from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Lanka Show, powered by Knight Rider. An original two-hour movie event, Sunday night, February 17th at 9, 8 Central, only on NBC TV. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Here, <laughs> it's an interesting story. This is from the Newark Star-Ledger newspaper in Joyce. A Pompton Plains father was charged with child endangerment and harassment. After police said he carried on an inappropriate correspondence with two of his son's female classmates, sending them text messages with sexual innuendo for several months, police said. Police filed the third degree charges against Stephen Petrarca, 44. He was arrested and charged on, I'm sorry, arrested and released on $25,000 bail, officials said. The girls, 115, 116, attend Morris Catholic High School, and their cell phone numbers are filed in the boys' cell phone, police said. Petrarca grabbed the girls' numbers from his son's cell phone, police said. The school reached out to police last week to alert them to Petrarca's alleged activities, police said. Petrarca did not return phone calls. So there you go. Son brings two girls home from school. One's 15, one's 16. Dad gets uh, to eyeball these two little girls. And then it's like, whoa, 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 va, 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 boom. And he goes to the kid's cell phone and takes the girl's numbers and starts sending them text messages. Suggestive text messages. Inappropriate text messages. According to police. Now, I'm not looking to have a conversation about whether this is right or wrong, whether the guy should be prosecuted or not prosecuted, whether he did it or he didn't do it. That's not what our conversation this hour is going to be about. And frankly, uh, this conversation has nothing to do with whether you are 15 or 25. It's simply this. You've got friends. You've got... Parents out there? <laughs> Think about this for a second. I'm curious. Have you ever had a friend's parent hit on you? You know, you went over and, uh, you know, you met your Eddie Haskell and you met uh, the Beeves' mom. And suddenly the Beeves' mom is uh, dialing up Eddie Haskell when nobody's looking just to say, hey, Eddie, what are you up to? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm wondering if this has happened to you. Just curious, you know, okay, or let's say you're female and uh, there you are. You're hanging out with a, with a boy or a man who's attracted to you and suddenly you meet his dad. And suddenly dad, somehow, you don't know how dad got your number or your email address. Suddenly dad is contacting you. And uh, worse yet, I'm wondering if uh, if you were annoyed by this or if you uh, plunged ahead and uh, explored it. You know, when a friend's parent hits on you, it's an interesting situation and one we've uh, discussed from time to time. You know, I I can't tell you how many times I've been uh, 
hanging out. For example, I've got male friends. I hang out uh, with them. Over the years, I've hung out with uh, with uh, male friends of mine, and I meet their mom, and uh, there has been an occasion where mom was awfully friendly. Now, I've never had one. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've never had one actually go out of her way to call me, text me, invite me out to coffee. I did have one mom one time tell me to come visit her, but this was when I was no longer friends with the other person. I had one mom call me and tell me to come visit the city she was in. She was in another city. Oh, yeah, I went because mom was hot. But um, none of these has actually come to fruition. I've never actually uh, closed one of those deals. I never have. But I'm wondering uh, if this has happened to you or uh, if you've ever actually gone beyond text messages or phone calls or emails and actually uh, uh, gotten together with somebody like this, uh, either behind your friend's back or not. Has a friend's parent, a friend's parent, ever hit on you? Now, I'm not talking about, by the way, and this is for uh, Mr. Dean J. D'Amelio, who is screening the calls. We're not talking about your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, or your husband. Okay, we've done that show. We're talking friends, neighbors, somebody who lives in your neighborhood. You know, guys ever go, uh, maybe you were one of the guys who did like uh, newspaper delivery or lawn mowing, snow shoveling. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, one of the people who uh, you did it for was uh, the mom of uh, one of your friends. And then she invited you in for some cocoa or more. If, if, if you have been on the receiving end or the giving end of any of these activities, please let me know. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was in the shower, and I got out of the shower, and my wife was checking my cell phone. And I swear to God, for like the last week, every day I get home, she's like, what What number was this? What number was that? Who's this? Who's that? She's like, who is Kim? I feel like telling her, hey, bitch, Kim's the girl I'm banging behind your back. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Right, did a friend's parent ever hit on you? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is C on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yo, Tom, what's up? I'm a good man. Uh, not much, C. Long time, about fourth time, actually, I've talked to you. Look at that. Yes, sir. I got a good story for you, man. When I was in high school, I was about a junior in high school. I had a really good friend of mine, female friend, just friends. Um, you know, go party, hang out together, whatnot. Well, her mom would actually pick us up sometimes, you know, like on the weekends, um, take us back to her house, make us dinner, hang out, whatnot. Well, one night she picks up me and me and my uh, guy friend, me and a buddy, and we head over to her house, you know, have dinner. <clears throat> my friend, the girl. That's my age. She, um, you know, leaves with one of her friends. They go out for the night or whatnot. So me and my buddy are still there at the house with her, sipping on some wine, you know, just finished dinner or whatnot. And I could tell, you know, she's giving me little signals here and there. I mean, she... By the way, how she, old were you at the time? At the time, I was probably about 17 years old. And, and she's giving you and she's giving you wine to drink. That's, it. That's kind of uh, the Michael Jackson approach. <laughs> yeah, however you want to call it. And um, so, you know start to set the mood a little bit here and there whatnot so wait wait, know, wait 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 don't skip over anything what do you what was she doing to set the mood um she would just kind of you know give me the eyes kind of you know give me that low hey you know maybe we should you know type, you know that type of thing um so you know so it's time to go and um you know we jump in her car and um take my buddy home and um you know we're sitting in front of my buddy's house i'm sitting in the passenger seat and she starts rubbing on my legs. So I'm like, hmm, okay, this could get interesting. 
So as it progresses, you know, just one thing after another just starts happening. And before I know it, man, she's on top of me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How old was she about? Um, I would say early to late 40s. And let me tell you, Tom, straight MILF. Really? Yeah. What'd yeah, she look really. like? Uh, she was about four foot nine, maybe about one ten, one twelve, little thing. Um, really short red hair, um, beautiful face. Um, you know, she 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 had it, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was I was man. That blew you know that blew me away that night. I was just like, wow. I just hit my friend's mom. Look at that. And did it happen more than once? No, it didn't, because after that, um, I kind of drifted away from my female friend, which was the girl that was my age, you know, the, her daughter. Me and her kind of drifted away, and, you know, kind of, you know, it just felt kind of awkward. Is that afterwards. because you drifted away, or maybe Mom told her what happened? Ah, you know what, man? I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. she ever told her daughter what happened. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, that's how it went down, man. Loved it, you know, and um, ever since then, I've always told the story. And I actually told, you know, my boy that we dropped off right before that happened, I had told him right after, you know, she, you know, took me home, and he was like, no way. So, yeah, man, it was it was, it was a good experience, you know, for being that young and, and just getting something that, you know, older. Wow. Yeah. Cool deal, Tom. But um, could you take me out Kobe style with the bag here, Tom? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. No cough. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Did a friend's parent, a friend's parent, ever hit on you? Rodney on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm good. That's great. Yeah, man. I uh, I just wanted to expound on that little uh, thing about the parent of a friend, you know, coming on to you and everything. You know, I live down here in Dallas, Texas, and you know, you don't get that that much, but you know, I tend to have a few friends who have a few mo uh, a few of my friends actually um, bang a few of their mothers. You know, a few friends. A few friends, Tom. Are you one of them? What? Did you have an experience like that? No, no, no. I am the guy. Oh, I thought you said you had a few friends who do that. No, 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 no. I have a few friends whose mothers I'm banging. Oh, that's clear. Well, tell us how this all started. Well, here's how it started. You know, uh... I have a few friends. We all kind of live in the same little area. We grew up in high school. And, you know, we used to do this little thing like we all used to spend a night over each other's house and stuff like that. And I don't know, like in this neighborhood, we're kind of like a, you know, mother, mostly single mothers kind of thing going on. So, you know, I find myself over there and, you know, we're spending the night and drinking and, you know, talking, you know, underage drinking and talking. And, you know, the next thing you know, uh, four o'clock in the morning, someone's crawling on the floor, you know, you know, whispering, come here, and all of that, you know. Wow. Yeah. Tell me more. Well, you know, basically, that's just, you know, all, you know, basically the whole little cycle that was going on, you know. And this, I, I mean, why is it happening with multiple moms? That's what I don't get. Well, you know, when you're a G like me, you know what I mean? You know, things ah, like that just happen. I see. You have to be a G, you understand, Tom. I you know? do. And I I was, you know, listening to you earlier and you were talking about the MySpace thing. I know you're not talking about the MySpace thing now, but, you know, I'm pimping so hard on there. Oh, and, and, and rightly so. It's a great place to pick up chicks. Pimping so hard. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to. Oh, I don't believe some of the stuff that's coming up here. Let's try um, Ron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? How are you? I'm doing okay, Ron. 
Hey, uh, I'm calling out that last caller. Uh, that's a bluff there. He ain't no pimp, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, my uh, friend's mother uh, grew up with him uh, my whole life. And uh, basically, you know, she was like a mother figure to me growing up. Uh, his parents were together. And uh, two years went by, went off to college, and uh, his parents got divorced. Came back from college. His mom had lost a lot of weight. She wasn't, uh, she wasn't a mom no more to me. She, uh, she turned out to be more than a mom. How did it happen? Well, I actually came back from college. I was looking for a job. I talked to my buddy, and he said, uh, yeah, my mother's working at this uh, company, and, and they're looking for some people, and uh, why don't you go talk to her? So I walked in there, and she said, wow, you've grown up. And I said, you're looking pretty good yourself. And uh, one thing led to another, and uh, she said, well, why don't you come back to, um, back to my house? We'll have some drinks and uh, talk about the job. And uh, it turned into a, a one-night fling with my my childhood mother, I guess. And she was like a mom to you? She was like a mom to me growing up. I never saw her as a mom, you know. She, was, I mean, I always saw her as a mom cooking dinner, and, you know, she was overweight. And, uh, boy, once she got divorced, she was different. That's for sure. She was looking for the young the young guys, you know. And how was she in the sack? Unbelievable, Tom. Unbelievable. Older women have got it going on, I'll tell you that. Really? Absolutely. She taught me some tricks I, I didn't learn from in college, that's for sure. Wow. Yes. Uh, take me over the bong rip. There you go, Ron. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, hmm, Terry on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Uh, basically, my story was uh, same thing. A friend from from school, uh, he was left out of town for college, came back, met him at a bar. Parents were there, hot Latin mother. Um, basically, uh, she was kind of giving me action, wanted to hook up. Basically, gave me the number, wanted to hook up in front of her husband, which I thought was kind of strange at the time. Uh, hook up at a hotel in downtown L.A. Uh, went, went there one night after work. Um, ended up meeting her at the bar. She told me what room she was in. I came in and ended up being her husband was there, too, and liked, uh, basically liked to watch guys with her. With her. Are you serious? Uh, am I curious? Well, no, serious. Are you serious? Oh, yes, I'm very serious. And not only did it happen that night, first of all, it was very, I mean, there was, she fed me fruit. She gave me lap dance. I mean, it was just insane. We took a bath together. Uh, he had, uh, he had this thing where if, uh, during oral, you know, sex, if I was to jump her, cause she was kind of rough, that he would punish her by performing a sexual act on her that I don't think she enjoyed too much. But, not only did this happen once, they started coming to my to my house, and every time she would dance, she always wanted music and candles, and she'd feed me fruit. And uh, this went on for I'd say about a good month period until they, they basically started wearing me out. I mean, I just they would call, they started calling me all the time, calling me, emailing me, and I just I just basically just had to fade away from it. And did, did Dad ever get involved, or he just stood and watched? No. Actually, a couple of times he did get involved. It was kind of strange. He even let her come in time by what um, he wanted me to do to her. Unbelievable, Terry. That's unbelievable. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Wow. It's Sammy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Pretty good, Sammy. All right, great. I got a nice story for you. Yeah. About uh, uh, four years ago, I was working the satellite business, selling direct TV, and uh, uh, my neighbor, he was at the time two years younger. He was 22, and uh, he mentioned that his mom was interested in getting it, so... Uh, I knock on her door. He told, he, to he told you that? 
Yeah, he's like, my mom wanted the service, so uh, if you can go and talk to her so she can get direct TV. Okay. So I, I knock on the door. She opens up. Uh, she invites me in, um, going through the sale with her, and then she asks about the porn channels. Um, what's the price on these? How does it work? And uh, I get into it with her, and, and I'm telling her about it, and she's like, uh, I really like it. I, I especially like if they show a young man. And this lady was about 47 at the time, and uh, she was a personal trainer. And uh, she's like, I bet you have no hair on your chest. Um, take off your shirt. And right there and then, we, I just took off my shirt, and we got into it. And uh, um, the second time, she, th she told me to come back, and I went back the second time. And she was like, do you mind being filmed? And she's like, I like, I like to film myself having, having sex. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. About a month later, that film, her son saw the film. And he came knocking on my door, wanting to fight me, wanting to hurt me. He's like, you son of a gun. I can't believe you did this. I can't. Even. And it was, it was, it was all over the neighborhood. I mean, everybody now, I walk in the neighborhood. And they, what do you think, they, Daddy? What do you think that you raped his mom? No, he, he just he couldn't believe that I would do that to her, that I would, I would have sex with his mom. Didn't he, he uh, know that she was the one who requested it? I told him. I said, hey, dude, your mom actually came on to me, and you can talk to her. You can ask her. He's like, yeah, but, you know, we're buddies. You can't do that. I'm like, well, dude, if, if some lady, a uh, nice lady, good-looking lady comes up to me and she want to have sex, I'm not going to say no. I mean, uh, we're not like best friends. Yeah, we're neighbors. I know the guy, but it's not like I grew up with him. So, Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he was he was devastated, but I, I mean I'm sure he's over it now. Wow. Yeah, it was a nice, it was fun. Can you take me out, Kobe style, please? Yes, I can, Sammy. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Gina on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Gina. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Well, I have this story. Once upon a time, <laughs> I'm 27 now. Back when I was in high school, I had the hots for this guy. I mean, bad hots for this guy. So I finally got the balls enough to call him. Well, I started talking to his dad instead. So his dad shows up at my friend's house, and then, well, I proceed to get busy. Really? I went with his dad. My. And, it, yeah, it was my first time. How was that? Well, I was nervous, and he thought I'd done it before. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But it was a lot of fun, and I didn't look at his son anymore. So uh, was that the only time? The only time? Oh, hell no. So you kept going with the dad? Well, of course. Did it get? He had, he did, had an open marriage, is what he called it back then. Oh, that's what that's you know. what the guys always say when they're that's married. What they always say, <laughs> if they're going to get it free, they're going to get it. Yeah, my wife said, "Hey, do whatever you want to do. My wife is cool with whatever I want to do. Just don't tell me about it." She said. Yeah, and don't tell her. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Look but at that! Right, I did. How long did that go on? Oh, uh, probably about six months. Really? Yeah, then I moved on to another married man. Did it get better and better? <gasps> of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. Hit it and quit it. Hit it and quit it. Even if it takes about 12 times, right? That's right. Hell yes. <laughs> Look at you. You're ready to go right now. I'm ready to go. Listen to you. What do you look like? Um, five foot one and a quarter long black hair, about 98 pounds. Really? Yeah. Are you hot? On a scale about one to ten, I don't think of myself real hot. <laughs> I'm hot. What do the guys think? Well, uh, with the 38 uh, E cup, I guess they like it. 38 E? Yeah. I didn't know if that was a cup size or an apartment number. <laughs> Both. 
No, it's a lot of fun. Listen to you. All right, Gina, thank you very much for that. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to talk first about the 167 pound nine. I don't buy that for a minute. No, I don't either. I think you've got to be druggly. You've got to be drunk and ugly to get her later on in the <laughs> <Drugly>. evening. Druggly. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in as a friend's parent ever hit on you. A friend. No, not your girlfriend, not your wife, not your boyfriend, not your husband. A friend. And what happened? Andy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? That's a statement. Hello. Uh, well, I was. It was in high school, and it was my girlfriend's mom, and she'd always call me up to find out if my girlfriend or if my girlfriend was over at, at the house. And I said no. So she says, "Why don't you come on over here?" And the next thing you know, I go on over there, and it's on like Donkey Kong. Really? Yeah. She just yeah. jumped right in, or did she say anything? Well, did she have any game? How did she do this? Well, she was an she was an alcoholic, and I knew this. And uh, and she was she was like forty two and I was like seventeen, and uh, she just uh, you know she just started you know coming right at me and I'm just like whoa, <laughs> it was it was uh, it was a trip because she was just so quick about it and and then she you know I you know did a little thing and then uh, and then it went from there and then it happened maybe about three four times and then then she never wanted it to happen again and act like it never happened I don't know if she went to AA and sobered up or what. Wow. That was great. Unbelievable. Yeah. Did your friend ever find out? No, not at all. Um, huh. And I wonder if they're listening now because <laughs> they wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. Yep. Can you take me out of the bong yet? Here you go, Andy. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kim. I am so excited to talk to you. I love that. Um, my brother and my dad and my sister—they all listen to you, so they probably listen. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had a friend that I used to go to her house every every day after high, after school when I was in high school, and she had a dad. And an uncle that I thought was so hot, but when they started flirting with me, <laughs> it scared the hell out of me. I was so scared. I was like, oh, my goodness, these old men. <laughs> but it was crazy. They were both just like, it was like they were in competition, like, flirting with me. Why? I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. I know. Here I am, only 16, 17 years old, and I got... My friend's dad and her uncle both just, they were on me so tough. <laughs> how, how far did they go? <laughs> I mean, just flirting. Once I showed how scared I was, I guess they probably just gave up. But They, it was they thought you were going to call the police, probably. <laughs> it scared me. I mean, I always had a rule. My brother is 27, so my rule has always been, like, nobody older than my brother, you know, until now that I'm older, but... Before that, it was always it was always that rule. Really? So it was crazy. <laughs> 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 but no, I'm happy to talk to you, though, Tom. That's my story. Well, I like that. <laughs> Good for you. Well, I'll be calling you again. You can call me anytime, dear. Okay, Tom. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kim. There she goes. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to um, Dean on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm okay. Hey, hey, I got a story for you. All right. Um, I had a uh, an acquaintance. I would say he wasn't one of my good friends, but he was an acquaintance that would go out and party with us and whatnot. Well, I knew him for a few years and. Um, 
I notice every now and then his mom would throw looks my way and whatnot. We'll make a long story short. One day I go over uh, to his, one night I go over to his house, go pick up a book for school or something, and he had a job at McDonald's while he was working late. I didn't know this, and uh, I show up to the house. Mom starts hitting on me, and his dad actually worked graveyard, so the house was empty. He was the youngest. And um, make a long story short, I was scared because I was like, 16, 17. But <clears throat> after a while, I started getting used to it after a few times. So needless to say, I was there every night, weekends and whatnot. And um, after about a month or so, she called me up crying and crying. I said, well, what happened? Turns out she's pregnant. Oh, no. Yeah. And 17 years old, junior in high school. I was throwing up for about a month every day. So I'm stressing, worried about everything, and, you know, my girlfriend's what's wrong with you. I end up leaving her, become a basket case for nine months. I tell my best friend that he could do nothing but have his mouth drop on the floor and not have a clue to what to do or what to say. Well, nine months later, uh, she's crying and all sad about it. Dad, his dad doesn't know what's going on. I stopped talking to him for a while until he asked me, hey, how come you haven't come around? You know, my mom's asking for you. I said, oh, well, you know, I got things I got to do. Baby comes out, take a blood test. It's not mine. Wow. <laughs> Boy, I hated life for about nine months as a junior in high school. Oh, my God. Yeah, but, yeah that was, a, that was a, something I'll never forget in my life. Never repeat again, but, you know, never, won't forget in my lifetime. But she didn't throw you under the bus, did she? No, no, she didn't, because I guess... You know, he would agree with her, but maybe they did their thing on the weekends. Who knows? But, um, you know, it, uh, she didn't have to me under the bus, but he was saying that she wasn't too happy about it. And they were always fighting about money when, in reality, I knew what they were really fighting. She had doubts about it and not knowing what to do. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I know what to do. Anyone ask me what to do in that situation, I'm going to tell them what to do. <laughs> Run. Turn on the old vacuum cleaner, baby. That's what you do. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Can you take me on Michael Vick style? Michael Vick style. Sure I can. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Are you kidding me? If I got with my friend's mom and she called me crying saying she'd get knocked up and... If she's undecided about what to do, please. There's, there's just only there's just only one suggestion. Get that done. That's right. Do a little Hoover action there. That's what you got to do. Oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ben. How you doing? I'm doing okay. That's good, man. Hey, uh, I want to tell you something. Um, when I was, well, it was about three years ago. My best friend asked me. I was, like, instructing martial arts at the time because I just got recently got my black belt. And... He wanted me to teach his mother, and his mother, I'm not kidding, was a knockout. You should have seen this girl. She was, like, 46, but she still looked hot. But then um, everything, uh, every class I was at, she will be at. And then she was um, implying by, like, grabbing my rear end, let's just say. And uh, she was just implying that she wanted to do something about it. And uh, I was really feeling weird about it, but... I decided to go for it, and I met at a hotel, and um, after practice it was, and then just did her, just did it right there. Really? And, uh, yeah. And how was it? Oh, it was great. It was better than I can even imagine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and did your friend ever find out? Yeah, he found out. But the weirdest part about it was he was all good about it, and he was all for it. He was actually saying, "Now you know the reason why." I wanted you to teach her. Really? And I was just like weirded out by that even more. <laughs> so he was hooking you up with his mom. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. 
that's what weirded me out even more. I just didn't even know, should I go on with it even more? Wowie, like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just thinking it was totally unbelievable the whole time, and I just kept doing it. And then finally I just got tired of the girl and just totally hit the hat, hit the. Hit the Great. bricks. Hit the yeah. bricks. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Um, Told your friend's mom to hit the bricks. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Um, but it was good, was it? Until yeah, until it was you great, realized man. what was going on. Oh, it was great. I mean, it, it filled one of my uh, to say checkbooks off my list to do before I die, you know? <laughs> wow. So. Sounds good Thanks. to me, Ben. Yeah, it was great. All right. Well, thank you for that. I've never done that. I've never, I've never done the mother-daughter thing, and I've never done a friend's mom. Never done it. Never done it. Would love to, just never have. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Have you ever had a, this is a friend now, a friend's parent hit on you? Notice most of these are guys. Let's say hello here to uh, Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Dad. Son, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Okay. Awesome. I love your show, man. This is a, a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. So I got a good one for you. Um, I used to go and hang out at a friend's house up in Malibu um, on the weekends, and you know, I go out surfing there. And, and this uh, this woman would bring her kids over. Um, they were maybe a few years younger than me at the time, and you know, we'd surf and kayak out in the ocean, and and you know, it became kind of a familiar meeting. And so one time she came by uh, just to basically visit my friend. And she and I, you know, kind of worked the magic there. I basically was kind of close to her and feeling her butt and whatnot, whatever. And like, next thing you know, um, my friend and I both ended up doing her at the same time. No. Yeah. And my friend was her husband's manager um her husband was a celebrity and uh so it was kind of a interesting little little situation but she ended up liking it so much she actually brought her girlfriend out to malibu once and we had a nice foursome and then uh and then she followed me down to school and i went down to uc san diego oh and my she'd get me like she'd get a room at the embassy suites or the tory pines lodge you know for the weekend and like you know she'd pull me away from my studies for quite a few hours <laughs> really yeah wow it was awesome and she was so hot i mean she was like 42 years old tall blonde just gorgeous skin i mean beautiful woman beautiful wow so sounds like you had a good time i had a great time tom it was uh definitely a memorable memorable experience unbelievable uh, i have time for one more Matt. Aloha, Father. <laughs> Aloha, Matt. Uh, thanks for getting me on, Tom. Love the show. You changed my life, man. You have no idea. Thank you. I, quick... have, I have one minute, so go for it. All right, a quick one out here. Hooked up with a, uh older woman. I'm a professional cougar hunter by trade. And uh, hooked up with one at a bar, had our little fling, whatever, and uh, ended up meeting. My buddy was coming by one day, and uh, we had a whole family get together with my unit comes in and it actually turned out that this girl was his mom and i had no, no idea no you didn't know no clue she never said anything she had her own place she lived by herself and apparently she must have never told him because he didn't seem too upset with me wow <laughs> hey i just love it tom you guys uh you do such a good job up there man keep it up and uh can you take me out uh african travel style uh, i think we have time Bye, the Tom Likas Show.